Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today, we'll talk about filtering an image collection in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. Now, let me explain this. Uh, we're going to load a Landsat 8 image for a single path row using the path detail and the row detail. And get the number of images. And get a date range of, uh, of an image in the collection and sort by a cloud cover property get the least cloudy image and limit the collection to the 10 most recent images and last we're going to add that layer in the google earth engine so let's get started so first uh, we're going to load a landsat 8 image into google earth engine using a single path row details the previous image we have uh, loaded a landsat 8 image into a google earth engine using the country bound now we're going to use now we're going to use a path and row details. So we're going to uh, uh, import a landsat 8 image using the path and row details. So now let me show you the path and row details uh, in USGS. So this is an official website for USGS, the Earth Explorer. So you can see that this is a landsat 8 image. So we have a path and row details. So to acquire a particular satellite image of your interest, you need to uh, filter using a path and row details to acquire that particular image. Now let me show you this. So this particular image has a path of 087 and row of 240. So similarly, This particular image has a row of 103 and 015 as a path and row. So, in order to acquire the particular image of event interest, you can uh, use this. You can use this filter technique uh, using path and row. So, to load a Landsat 8 image into a Google Earth Engine, we're going to specify a variable called collection equals to double e dot image collection. So referring to this, this is a recipe code that is uh, going that is we going to use to insert a Landsat 8 image collection one tire one top of an atmosphere. So similarly, we are using a dot filter. So we are using a filter filtering the, the satellite image using the path detail of 170 and a row detail of 52. So the path and row details that we have specified for the particular image that is this 170 and 52 so we are using uh, we are uh, we are doing it by dot filter w dot filter dot q eq wrs path the uh, path number is 170 and similarly if uh, applying another filter dot filter w dot filter eq uh, wrs row 52 and similarly, we are filtering by using a temporal filter. So filter date that is being specified as from January 2017 to December 2017. And we are going to output as, as a collection and defining the variable dot collection. So this is referring this we defined it by collection as an output. Uh, this refers to the variable here. Now uh, let me uh, run this code. So now uh, let us run this code. Code is the option called as run script and run this. So you can see the output in the console section. So we have an image collection of Landsat 8. So, so we have a uh, different uh, there is types of image collection. So it is ID and the bands we have a total of uh, 11 bands plus BQA band. Uh, we have a features of 22 elements so here we have a based on our temporal filter and the path and row filter we have a, about a 22 different uh, landsat 8 image for the particular year from january to december so these are different as uh, landsat 8 image for different uh, days and months so let me open this 
so we have a uh, details of that id i right? so suppose if you want to access this particular satellite if we can use this id here so you can use this uh, id here in this image collection so you can access the particular uh, satellite image so we have the different bands in that so it has a 12 different bands so we have uh, that the data type is a float so projections and uh, 12 bands so we have a uh, data information about the different band details and the uh, id of that uh, uh, particular uh, Page of the Landsat. So suppose if you want this image, you can use this uh, a dot image collection Landsat, and you can specify this code. So in our previous video, I have shown you how to uh, import. It. So in this video, I have sh shown you how to filter an image. So how to filter an image using the row and path, and also using the temporal uh, range that is temporal. From January to uh, December. So in the property section, uh, property section, we have different uh, metadata of that image, the Landsat 8 image. So we have image qualities, cloud cover. So we have variety of data types. So we have variety of data type related to that Landsat 8 image. The next is uh, how to get a number of image. So suppose if you're if you're dealing with a large number, large quantity of image, if you're dealing with a large quantity of an image, so you, suppose if you want to know the size, number of uh, satellite image that is available, when you're dealing with uh, this temporal range, so to get the number of uh, satellite image in this range of this spatial information, so we are using a variable called count equals to collection dot size the collection here that is referring to this variable called collection so you're referring to that landsat image with the uh, we have filtered from a temporal uh, using from january 2017 january to 2017 december so suppose if you want to know the uh, number of satellite image, so suppose if you want to know the number of satellite image that is being available in this particular uh, range we are using the variable called variable dot var var dot count equals to collection dot size and print referring to the count and count to the referring to this variable. So now let me run this code. So to run this code, we're going to uh, go to the option called run run script. So in the count, we have about 22 different satellite image that is being available in this particular timeline from January to December 2017. So now let us see the next is uh, to get the date range of an image in the image for an image collection. Suppose if you want to know the range of uh, the date range of availability of an image collection, uh, we can use this function. Suppose uh, there is a sentinel image that is being available from 2015. Uh, and available from now onwards. And suppose we want to know the date range. For that, we're going to use a specific uh, functions. So for that, uh, we have defined a variable called dates equals to double dot list. So for that, uh, we have defined a variable called dates equals to double dot list bracket collection dot get. So this uh, get dot date range is the algorithm so that is uh, we're going to be using in this uh, google earth engine to get the date from the starting to uh, starting to an ending date so the date of an availability of the data to its uh, final date so after that we are specifying another date called variable date range is equal to double e dot date range so dates get dot uh, zero referring to the initial date and dates dot get one refers to the final date so at last we are using a pre output function to output this uh, we are using a print defined it as a date range 
referring as a variable called date range here. So now let us run this. So now let us run this code. So uh, previously I have uh, made sure that in double e dot uh, the L is of L it is in the capital. Make sure that L it is in the capital. So so le let us run this code. So we can see in the right side in the console section the date of availability of the satellite image has been given from 2013 4-11 to 2022 one two so it is a uh, its availability is from 2013 and and also it's currently available now so using this particular uh, algorithm so you can able to uh, find the date range of availability of the satellite from its uh, beginning that is the date of availability to the to its current status that is the current date of uh, current date so we are defined using this function. So in the next, we are going to sort by the cloud cover property to get the least cloudy image. So to how to sort in a cloud cover property to get the least cloudy image. So let me explain you. So here we defined a variable called image equals to double e image. That is the image being referred to this, our first image that is our Landsat 8 image. So it refers to our Landsat 8 image. Collection it refers to this variable for our Landsat 8 image. So we are sort dot sort. We are sorting it by cloud cover. So dot first. So dot first uh, so dotting is sort by cloud cover. It uh, generally sorts in ascending order and dot first refers to that the first image. So in the ascending order the first image first image is of uh, most uh, cloud free image so uh, to output the output this data so we're going to use the function print the least to define it as a least cloudy image and uh, to uh, and referring to our image that is our variable image so now let me explain once more again so we are defining a variable called image equals to double e dot image collection that is referring to our the Landsat 8 image and we are using a dot sort the sort refers to uh, generally the satellite images being arranged in ascending order so we are sorting in ascending order and define dot first the first refers to the the first image generally the the least cloudy image occur, uh, occurs in the as a first image so by defining first we have a, a least cloudy image so to output this information we are using a sprint least cloud defined as a least cloudy image and uh, image that is refers to this variable called image so the next one is uh, how to uh, limit the how to limit the collection to the 10 most recent image suppose if you want to acquire only the 10 most recent image and limit it by 10 so we are using this function So here we have defined a variable called reason equals to collection that is referred to our Landsat 8 image dot sort. And we are sorting it by a system time that is the, the system start time and defined and uh, limiting it by a size of uh, 10. So now uh, let me uh, add a bracket here. So So to output this uh, information, we are using a function for print defined as a recent image and uh, referring to recent. So this variable. So in this way, you can able to acquire only the recent image by limiting it by 10 uh, up to 10. But this uh, this way, uh, this is not a cloud filtered uh, thing. So it is uh, used to compare our uh, cloud filtered and uh, the recent raw image last so here last we defined a variable so here we defined a variable called visualization true and define a bands
So here we define a variable called visualization true. So bands is equal to band four, band three, and band two of Landsat ATMA with a minimum of zero and a maximum value of 0 0.5. So uh, to center a map for We are referring to this one variable image and uh, so we are adding it two different layers one layer that is uh, referring to the recent image visualization true the reason composite that is referring to this variable that is a raw image with uh, a 10 most recent image the recent image and similarly we are adding another layer uh, image visualizing to the visualization true cloud free composite that is being referred to this variable, variable image. So this is a cloud-free image. And this is the recent image, but it is of a raw image. So there is no filtering, uh, there is no filtering of uh, filter for clouds. So let us compare. And uh, so let me run this code. So now uh, let us run this uh, code. Make sure that map dot add layer is a capital L. I've uh, initially I've done a small uh, small case letter. Make sure that you enter as a uppercase that is add capital L, L. So now let us run this code. So go to this option called run. Run the script. So basically, it gives us the two different layer. One is a cloud-free composite, another is a for reason composite. Now let me uh, turn off this one. So the reason composite is of uh, not filtered, so it is of uh, you can see that it is a very cloudy. And similarly, the second layer uh, that is a reason is a cloudy layer. Uh, now cloud filtered layer. So you can see that in cloud filtered layer, we have absolutely no uh, cloud contamination in this image so you can able to clearly distinguish that the cloud free image has absolutely no uh, cloud contamination and similarly the recent image the recent image has a, a most is highly contaminated by cloud so uh, this recent image is not filtered using a cloud filter technique to avoid the cloud contamination So in this video, I have shown you how to load a Landsat 8 image collection using a path and row details and filter it by using our temporal uh, filter that is using specified uh, dates. And, and next is how to check the availability or the number of image on that particular uh, uh, that is time, that is the date from December to uh, from January to December. So we have uh, 22 different satellites in this particular time. So and uh, to get a date range of an image in the collection. So suppose if you want to uh, check the its uh, initial to the, its final date of its availability of an image, we are using this function called um, var date and using this algorithm called date range so that is being specified here. And suppose if you want to sort or uh, to avoid a cloud contamination, we get the least cloudy image. We are using the specific scripts and uh, to re import recent image, I've shown you how to import a 10 most recent image without a cloud uh, filter. And last, we have shown you how to add a layer and how to center an object of that, uh, how to center in a satellite image, the zoom level of 10. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.